J'aime trop faire le beat making parce que je suis un artiste et musicien. When I'm in the Iron Man studio, I'm feeling like uh, Iron Man is even like that because I love so much the music. Is that? De mes avertissements, mais voici un monde triste, ma bliss, ma devant rap, ma je rap tellement mal, ma mais c'est du rap, ma respect tout ce gars. What's going on? This is Pierce Freeline here with the Apple Juice Kid. We're in the dusty streets of Goma, Democratic Republic of the Congo. We're about two blocks that way. We're building a beat making lab at Yole Africa. So, for those of you who don't know about the beat making lab, it was founded at UNC by Dr. Mark Katz and Apple Juice Kid. And you basically get three credit hours to make beats. We also teach entrepreneurship and a history of beat making as well. And so through a partnership with a Congolese nonprofit called Yole Africa, we brought that beat making lab from Carolina to the Congo. Yole Africa is an amazing nonprofit based in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They provide arts programming for the youth there. Our goal here in the Congo was to create a sustainable studio and the training for these kids to be able to make their own beats, produce their own music, and get their music out there. So we collaborated on the beats that they were doing. Initially, of course, it's like a crash course training, trying to get six kids making hot beats within like six days. The motivation was unparalleled. These kids really wanted to learn this and put in the work, put in the hours. Je sais que quand ils iront aux États-Unis, pour nous, ça ne sera pas une fin. Ça sera plutôt une continuité ou bien un début pour nous, enfin que nous puissions apprendre d'autres artistes à créer leurs propres instrumentaux. We pulled it off. Like we, we made the first international beat making lab in Goma, Congo, in, in partnership with Yole Africa, and I'm very happy about it. But it can't stop here. We want to bring beat making labs and free open source beat making software to places all over the world, and get them collaborating with our students at UNC. Since we've been here in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, we've learned about this Congolese philosophy. It's, it's called Pamoja. It means in solidarity. So I, I want you to, to close your eyes for a minute, you know, and think about 10 years from now when this open source beat making software has been downloaded like 200,000 times and there's artists in Burundi sending beats to cats in Afghanistan. Now you, you kind of get a glimpse of what we're talking about with, with Palmoja. It's, it's an opportunity to create a web and a connected network of international beat makers. Does, does that sound cool to you? It sounds very, it sounds cool. very cool to me.